Welcome to Slocum Center for Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. My name is Dr. Denise Ruthier, and I specialize in non-surgical, musculoskeletal, and sports medicine. In this video, we will be discussing plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is a common cause of heel pain seen frequently in adults. The plantar fascia is the thick connective tissue that supports the arch of your foot. Occasionally, plantar fasciitis can be related to trauma or acute inflammation, but more often it is thought to be an overuse issue caused by degeneration and micro tears of the plantar fascia tissue where it attaches to the bone. Pain is usually localized to the bottom of the heel, but some patients have pain located along the arch of the foot. The classic presentation for plantar fasciitis is gradual onset of pain to the bottom of the heel. Most patients have heel pain and tightness first thing in the morning or after periods of rest. Typically, the heel pain will improve with walking, but often worsens by the end of the day with prolonged standing and activity. Pain can vary in severity. For many people, it is quite mild and only slightly bothersome. Others can have severe pain, which causes limping and significantly impacts their daily activities. The cause of plantar fasciitis is often unclear, and there may be multiple factors which can contribute to the pain. As it is generally a condition related to stress and degeneration of the tissue, we commonly see it in patients who are harder on their feet. This includes runners and patients who stand or walk all day or are overweight. There may be certain biomechanical factors which can affect the plantar fascia. This includes high arches or low arches, tight calf muscles, or excessive pronation with walking. Plantar fasciitis is generally easily diagnosed just based on the patient's history and exam, with reproducible tenderness to the bottom of the heel. Usually x-rays and further imaging studies with ultrasound and MRI are not necessary and are only used for patients who have unusual symptoms or do not respond well to typical treatment. Fortunately, most patients respond well to non-surgical treatment, and 80 to 90 percent of people will notice improvement over the course of several months. For some people, plantar fasciitis can be very frustrating with a prolonged course of pain, which can last 12 months or longer. It's important to stress that there's generally no quick fix, and managing plantar fascia pain requires patience and persistence with the exercises and rest. Treatment consists of a combination of the following things. Number one is rest. This is most important to take stress off the tissue and allow healing. This may mean stopping or cutting back significantly on exercise or trying to modify your job to allow sitting or occasional breaks to rest and stretch. The second thing is stretching. I generally have patients stretch their plantar fascia and their calf muscles at least three to four times a day. A night splint can also be helpful for stretching the foot overnight and reducing morning pain. The third thing is ice. The easiest way to ice your foot is by freezing a water bottle and rolling your foot over the frozen water bottle two to three times a day. This can be helpful for icing and massaging the soft tissue. Number four is arch supports. An arch support is an insert which goes into your tennis shoe to help support and take stress off the plantar fascia. I generally put people in over-the-counter arch support such as Superfeet Orthotics. Some people like to use a gel heel cup for additional cushion. The fifth thing is medication. I usually have people take over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications or Tylenol to help control pain. And lastly, weight loss is important to take stress off the tissue. The next phase of treatment for more persistent pain often includes a period of immobilization in a boot or a cast. Physical therapy, cortisone injections, and custom orthotics can all be used for persistent pain. Prevention can be difficult as it is hard to predict who's going to get plantar fasciitis. Maintaining a healthy weight is obviously important. Athletes should stretch regularly if they have tight calf muscles or wear appropriate shoes or arch supports for their foot type. I feel the key factor to mention is to not ignore heel pain and to start to treat the symptoms as soon as they start. Often the pain is not too bothersome initially but will worsen with time and can be much harder to treat if it has been present for several months. 